Hello and welcome to this quick take video on leveraging OpenCV and high-level synthesis with Vivado. In this short video, we'll first review the OpenCV libraries and show a typical application of these libraries. We'll then review the advantages of the Zinc All Programmable SOC for implementing OpenCV designs and discuss how Vivado High-Level Synthesis, or HLS, and the video libraries it provides can be used in this process. After a quick overview of the methodology, we'll demonstrate an example design with the Vivado design suite. First, let's have a quick overview of the OpenCV libraries. OpenCV is an acronym for Open Source Computer Vision. OpenCV is a library of programming functions for performing real-time computer vision. Available from OpenCV.org, the library provides over 2,500 functions in C, C++, Python, and Java, and for multiple computer operating environments. A testament to the success of the OpenCV libraries is the fact that they have surpassed 5 million downloads and have nearly 50,000 users in the OpenCV user group. To better understand how the OpenCV library helps in the development of industrial applications, let's review an example application. Here is an example of driver assistance. This application analyzes a continuous stream of video to help cars stay within the lanes on a road. The steps to perform this are lane detection, lane tracking, and finally, some decision making. If we look at the lane detection process in more detail, we can see how the OpenCV library can be used to quickly create this system. In order to perform lane detection, we first need to convert the video image from RGB to gray format. After performing some image equalization, an edge detection algorithm is used to highlight the edges in the image. And finally, a Huff transform is used to extract the features. Each of these steps can be performed using library functions from the OpenCV library, allowing complex video analysis algorithms to be quickly developed. However, there is a significant difference in the computational requirements of these processing blocks. While lane detection processing needs to consider every pixel in each frame of video, lane tracking and decision making only need to process the extracted features, in this case, the location of the lane. If we take a step back and look at the processing which is required to perform these tasks, the lane detection algorithm must be run in dedicated hardware. It would require an expensive and power-hungry CPU to keep up with the processing requirements here. However, the lane analysis and decision-making can easily be performed on a CPU. These are not data-intensive tasks. An efficient implementation of this application, and in fact for many other computer vision tasks, always requires a customized mixture of hardware and software. OpenCV library functions are used in many video applications, from driver assistance and machine vision to video conferencing and surveillance. As in the previous example, much of the processing required in these video applications can be performed on a standard microprocessor. However, if a real-time image or image processing is required, the detailed pixel-level processing is often required at a rate which exceeds the processing ability of microprocessors. And without this, there is no live video. The Zinc All Programmable SOC family provides the ideal platform for implementing OpenCV-based designs. Zinc devices have both an embedded ARM core and programmable logic. For OpenCV applications, the frame-based processing can be directly implemented on the CPU. The pixel processing, which requires real-time processing rates, can be implemented in the programmable logic. By using Vivado high-level synthesis, the C description can be directly synthesized into high-performance, low-power hardware. In both cases, the original algorithm can remain as C++. In addition to the high-level synthesis technology provided in the Vivado design suite, a key enabler of this methodology is the Vivado high-level synthesis video library. The Vivado High-Level Synthesis Video Library, or the HLS Video Library, is a set of image processing functions provided in C++ with Vivado HLS. These C libraries allow designs based on the OpenCV libraries to be easily migrated into a high-performance, low-power FPGA implementation. The library functions are compatible with equivalent functions in the OpenCV library and are guaranteed to synthesize into a high-performance FPGA implementation capable of processing full HD video at the rate required for real-time viewing. For the functions to be synthesized into hardware, the OpenCV functions can easily be replaced by the HLS video library equivalents. 
The video libraries also provide functions to support the implementation of Axi4 interfaces, ensuring easy system integration and seamless communication between the CPU and the hardware. A complete list of functions are provided in the Vivado HLS user guide, but the following provides an overview of the library. Here we can see line buffer or memory window classes for modeling video algorithms, Axi4 stream IO functions for easy system integration, OpenCV functions for image data transformations, and the video functions at the core of the image processing. Before looking at an example design, let's review how these video libraries are used. Here on the left hand side, we have an overview of a system written with OpenCV libraries. It has some basic image I.O. and frame level operations. And at the core of the system, a chain of OpenCV library functions are used to perform the image processing. Now let's see how this code is implemented on a Zinc All Programmable SOC. In the final design, the frame level processing will remain as is. This code can be directly compiled on the Zinc processing system. The part of the algorithm to be accelerated in the programmable logic can be converted to use functions from the HLS video library. As we shall see shortly, this C code will be synthesized using Vivado HLS and be implemented in the programmable logic. The HLS video library functions ensure this C code is synthesized into a high performance FPGA implementation. The video library also provides functions to convert standard OpenCV data types to those supported in an Axi4 protocol and used by the function to be synthesized. These I.O. functions are used on both the input and the output side. These functions ensure the data transfer between the ARM processor and the programmable logic is implemented as an Axi4 stream, allowing the synthesized block to be easily integrated into the system. We'll see an example of how easy this system integration is later in this quick take video. Now that we understand how the system is put together, let's look at a design example. Let's start by opening Vivado HLS. Here is a Vivado HLS project based on an OpenCV design. The first thing we can do here is examine the test bench. Once it opens in the information pane, we can jump to the top level function. If we scroll up slightly, we can first review the header file. By using the control key, we can click on the file and open it. Here we can see the header file HLS underscore video .h is included. This gives access to the HLS video libraries. In this test case, we're also using some predefined Axi4 types. If we examine the type, we can see it contains the standard Axi4 signals. We use this to create a stream, which is the input and output from our top level design. If we return to the test bench, we can see some important aspects. The OpenCV image is loaded. It is transformed into an Axi4 stream data type for synthesis. The return Axi4 stream is transformed back into a standard OpenCV image. This allows everything to be integrated. Finally, the test bench checks the results against those which are expected and returns a zero if they are the same. This results checking allows the same C test bench to be used to verify the RTL results after synthesis. We can also quickly review the C source to be synthesized. We can use the outline pane to quickly jump to the top level function. If we expand this window, we can see, first, there are some directives to specify the hardware implementation of the I.O. ports, and some directives to create an Axi4 light interface for controlling the block. We define a number of variables to transfer the image between functions. Then, there is a directive to optimize this design for parallel processing of the functions. The remainder of the code shows the pixel processing functions. Here we can see they are compatible with their equivalent OpenCV functions. The Sobel function here is a windowing function which calls the HLS video function filter2d, again, compatible with the OpenCV function. We can proceed to synthesize this design. When synthesis completes, the report file opens. The next step is to package the design as IP. 
The dialog box shows we can export this to the Vivaro IP catalog. Note, we can also export this block as a PCOR to Xilinx Platform Studio. For this case, we'll export to the Vivaro IP catalog. Go we'll select OK. When the export process completes, we can see the output package is in the impl folder. Since we've exported as IP, we have a folder named IP. If it had been exported as a PCOR, there would be a PCOR folder. Inside here, we can see our IP package. In addition to this hardware package, High Level Synthesis automatically created the driver files for this IP. Here we can see files for both standalone and Linux environments. If we examine one of these header files, we can see the address map for the Axie 4 Lite interface. And in this file, here we can see the C functions to support accessing this interface. These functions can be directly included into the user code on the CPU. Now we're ready to use this IP in a design. Let's open the Vivado design suite. Here in the Vivado design suite, we have the entire system. Our first step is to add the IP we just created using Vivado HLS to the Vivado IP catalog. We access the IP catalog. Then we access the IP settings, select the repository, and add the IP from the Vivado HLS IP directory. With the IP now in the catalog, we can open the system design in IP integrator. If we zoom in, we can now add the IP. We simply type image to find our IP block and add it to the design. Now we can simply connect up the IP, and here we can see the advantages of using Axie 4 interconnect. The block can easily be integrated into the wider system. Once we've completed all the connections, we can validate the design. When validation completes, we can proceed to generate the bitstream. The final step in this process is to export the project to the Xilinx Software Development Environment SDK, where the C driver files produced by Vivado HLS can be incorporated into the user code. The application note, accelerating OpenCV applications with Zinc using Vivado HLS video libraries, discusses in detail all the points reviewed in this quick take video. The topics include a review of video processing data types, a comparison of video architectures, including the advantages of video streaming, and an in-depth review of the video interfaces. A reference design with source files and project directories is included with the application note. For anyone interested in accelerating OpenCV applications using the Zing All Programmable SOC, the application note is highly recommended. Just search using the title or for XAPP 1167 on xilinx.com. This completes this video on leveraging OpenCV and high-level synthesis with Vivado, and thank you for your time.